This is the Hill of Death, a 0.2 mile trail that literally goes straight up. That's the hill I have to run up? Looks like the freaking Great Wall of China. I feel like I'm running nowhere. Look at this. It's so steep that most people, including myself, need to stop at least once to make it to the top. <sighs> freaking video. Oh, my legs. Oh, 165. <sighs> oh, but here's the twist. Can I make it to the top without stopping? With this. I'm a little skeptical. I mean, how can this bring me all the way up there without any brake? And as someone who drives a Tesla, which is tech on wheels, does the Hypershell X Pro fit in my everyday tech lifestyle? Let's find out. If you didn't know what this is, it's the world's first outdoor exoskeleton by Hypershell, the Hypershell X Pro. And they claim it offers up to 40% extra leg strength with 30% less physical exertion. It's not meant to replace walking if you can't walk, but like Iron Man, it's made to assist your movements and if you have a physical demanding job or you're on your feet all day, give you more energy. But does it actually work or is it just gonna be another $1,100 paperweight? I'm still not convinced it can handle the hill of death. So I decided to do a real test, man versus beast. Who's just grazing on grass like a cow. My dog peanut butter. One thing my dog loves to do is chase, but he always catches up to me. I wonder if I can beat him with this. Hyper mode is engaged. <laughs> oh God. Not gonna lie, this thing works so good. He's still able to chase me, but not as fast as before. Boost mode is insane. Whew. Still, still, still revving up, ready to go. The cool thing about this is it's not just for working out or hiking the hill of death. It has something called AI motion engine that figures out how you walk. It learns how you walk and adapts the power based on the walking. It has all these sensors on the device itself, making it so it learns your habits, learns your gait patterns for a more natural experience. But it also helps with everyday tasks like Costco and doesn't look too obvious and obtrusive. Kind of like you're wearing a fanny pack and an assistive walking device. But unlike Tesla's full self-driving, which can literally take over and drive for you, the Hypershell X Pro still needs you to do the work. It's more like an Exo Assist. It amplifies your strength, but it won't walk for you. At least, not yet. So even though this thing has an app, you don't need the app. You can do it all with the buttons. Right now it's on eco mode. If you stand still, it goes into like this hibernation mode where it just kind of saves the most battery possible. If you double tap it, it increases the power. If you triple tap it, it decreases the power. And if you hold it, the LEDs turn all red and it gets you that hyper mode, which is the most power, perfect for sprints, running, going uphill. And it has a haptic engine. So each press you can feel the legs kind of vibrate. So that's super nice. So you know what you're pressing, you know if you're doing more power, or less power, you can feel it all with the vibrations. And while it works with sprints and everyday walking, what about something a little more challenging like gym day? We're gonna warm up. They also have a special feature. So there's definitely more features in the app. We're gonna go ahead and go to fitness. It's experimental. So what fitness does is it actually creates resistance. So it makes it harder to walk. So this is good if you want to use it to work out, you can actually make it harder. Oh yeah, I feel that. <laughs> In the battery life, it's supposed to give you about a mile of range, which is supposed to be all day battery life. And it's not bad for something that supposedly gives you one horsepower of power. People have been staring at me kind of because they're like, what the heck is on you? Definitely is a little noticeable. Oh, look at that. Look at that already. I can hear it turning on too. It's on overdrive. <laughs> this is crazy. God, you're heavy. I mean, it's insane. It's actually helping me though. Anyone who goes to the gym knows that Stairmaster sucks. Write in the comments. I mean, oh my God. This is crazy. It's like it's literally launching me up. I'm on eco mode too, but I'm feeling it right here. One eternity later. <laughs> I mean, the two masters. I don't know how I'm going to do the hill of death, man. So I'm getting a good workout in. The fact that I could talk to you, it's not too bad. Done. This definitely helps, but it's still super tiring. But now it's time for the final test, the hill of death. The last time I did this hill, 
It took me over 15 minutes. So let's see if this is gonna make it better. For this hill, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into boost mode. Now it's on boost and it's just, <laughs> it's really gonna boost me up there. See you guys later. Morning. This is insane. It's actually pushing me up. What the heck? See you later. Made it to the second loop. Oh yeah, I'm getting tired. Wow. Oh yeah, I'm tired, but look at that. My leg, it's like pushing my legs forward. One minute, 28 seconds, 170. So it definitely works the heart still, which is good. But normally I have to rest longer. However, this thing, allows me to rest and keep walking. Look at this. I feel like I'm not using any muscle. So I was able to get up that, I could probably do that hill again if I wanted to. And it is tiring, so I am getting a workout in, but it just allows me to have a better workout so I could do more without getting as tired and fatigued, and I don't get injured. Because when I get injured going down the hill, that's when I sprain my ankle. But with this thing, it's able to really control the muscles and control how much intensity I put in. This honestly feels good for people who are on their feet working all the time, and they just want to have more energy when they come home, or if you're doing a long hike or doing something strenuous that requires more effort in the long run, this is just going to make your everyday life easier in that aspect. Again, it's not an assistive medical device, it's not meant to help you if you can't walk. It's just meant to help you assist in walking. And if you're injured or something, it can kind of help you do some rehab and really help you get to where you need to go, making it a little bit easier. Do I still use my muscles? Yes. Do I still have a workout because my heart rate has increased? Most definitely. I went up that hill, I'm sweating like crazy now. But that's the beauty with the Hypershell Pro X. A few issues I didn't run into, however, I am the appropriate height, I'm six foot three. Yet I'm at the lowest setting and it said that it has to be like two finger widths above your knee. And right now it's like a solid four finger widths. I have it adjusted on the lowest setting. I have this adjusted as well. I use the app. Everything is nice and tight. However, this does feel a little bit higher than most people. It's supposed to be two finger widths above the patella. Also, one annoying thing, I don't know if you can see the battery pack is right here. I wish they had the ability to charge the battery pack by itself. Put a USB port on the battery pack so I can charge a secondary battery pack because it does come with two battery packs. However, if I want to charge it, I have to remove the whole device, plug it into the integrated USB-C port on the device itself. So it's a little cumbersome, it's a little annoying to deal with. The app is also easy to use, works great with tons of customization options, as well as constant software updates, making the Hypershell even better. So the cool thing is the app just tells you if you're walking and knows if I'm going downhill. So now we're gonna go downhill and it's just gonna help me downhill. Like look at that, it even says it. it says it's descending. But the real question, is it worth $1,100 just to climb your own hill of death? And as someone who loves playing chase with my dog and living in the future, the Hypershell X Pro is pretty cool.